What's up, everybody? Happy New Year! What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and today we're gonna have some more fun with the double barrel elephant gun chambered in 500 Nitro Express. The biggest request you've had is bulletproof glass. Well, I've got some. Let's go check it out and get started. Okay, so here's what we got. I have two pieces of bulletproof glass. They're both 12 by 12 and about two inches thick. I have no idea what these are rated to stop or what quality they are. Uh, this one is a little bit lighter than that one, so I'm guessing that one may be the tougher piece. So we're gonna shoot this piece first with a few small calibers, then we're gonna blast that one with the elephant gun. And if it makes it through that, I guess we'll just stack them both together and see if we can stop it then. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you to the big Delco bag, AKA the dude bag for sponsoring today's video. Here's a few things you can expect if you subscribe to the dude bag. Waterproof fire sticks. A paracord hatchet. A hand crank radio. A bodo bag. That Mellow Yellow is old. And use code KENTUCKY at checkout and you'll get this $250 knife for free. Again, a big thank you to the Dude Bag for sponsoring today's video. Be sure and check them out. Okay, we're gonna start out with 22 long rifle. This is a 40 grain bullet and we're gonna be using a Ruger LCR 22. Well, at least I know I didn't get gypped and that's just regular glass. <laughs> we hit right there. There's a little dent, but it didn't do a whole lot to that glass. Up next is nine millimeter. I'm gonna be using a Glock 45 and I have some nine mil, 115 grain full metal jackets. Stopped it. Okay. <laughs> There's the bullet right there. But you can see it did not make it very far into that glass. That is really cool. Up next is 45 ACP. I have a Smith & Wesson 1911 TA and I'm loaded up with some 230 grain full metal jackets. <laughs> Looks like we put a few cracks in our glass. Okay, we hit right here and it did not make it into the glass like the nine mil. Uh, and we do have some cracks, but it seems that round pushed the glass into the cinder block and that's what caused the cracks. Okay, let's step it up a notch. Up next is 44 Magnum. This is a Smith & Wesson model 629 with a six and a half inch barrel. And I have some Underwood ammo, 245 grain full metal jackets. Okay, we hit right there and it made quite the hole in that glass and you can see the round inside there. Ooh. Okay, so we had some glass come off the back, but it did not make it very far into the glass. I think this is mostly from this smacking into the cinder block and it looks like these two layers have started to separate. Let's hit it with one more handgun before we step it up to the elephant rifle. This is a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum with an 8 and 3 8 inch barrel. This is the one I torture tested. It does not have a front sight or a rear sight, so I'm going to be lucky if I even hit the glass. And I'm going to be using some Underwood ammo, 500 grain hard casts. Oh! I can't believe I hit it. So here's where we hit, and we managed to make it through this piece of glass. <laughs> that is a giant hole. But this glass was already damaged, and that's why I brought two pieces of bulletproof glass. Let's move this one off the table for now. Try not to cut myself. And this time, instead of using two cinder blocks, 
I'm just going to put one center block right behind the glass. Here's the fresh piece of bulletproof glass and you can see it's also about two inches thick and this one is heavier than the other piece so I'm expecting this one to be a little bit tougher. Okay, I'm gonna angle it that way, you know, just in case. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's hit it with the elephant rifle. This is my double barrel elephant rifle chambered in 500 Nitro Express, absolutely beautiful gun. And I'm gonna be using this, a Federal 500 Nitro Express, 570 grain brass solid. <laughs> Woo, all right. Pretty sure it made it through. Okay, let's check it out. Whoa, okay. Uh, we've got holes in our table. I'm guessing it's from glass. Okay. Our cinder block is destroyed. And that glass is really, really shattered. I don't really want to touch this. If I get it on the edge here. Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, I don't think it made it through. It didn't, it did not go through. Holy smokes. So just the sheer force is what broke the cinder block, but the glass held up. To my surprise, the two inch piece of bulletproof glass stopped the elephant rifle, but I'm wondering if the cinder block right behind it provided too much support. So I'm gonna shoot it one more time, this time with no cinder blocks behind it, and I went ahead and threw the other piece behind it just in case. I think we made it through that time. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's looking like it went through that time. Yeah, it went through for sure. Oh my gosh, look. There's pieces of that brass round broke up on the table. I cannot believe these little pieces of the round that broke up. That is some tough glass. So now I'm wondering if we would have made it through the first time if I wouldn't have had the cinder block behind this thing. Then we hit this piece as well, and there is the round right there. Looks like it made it through several layers. This doesn't appear to be real glass, I think. Maybe the back part is glass, but this is plastic. Yep, that's plastic. I'll put my safety glasses back on just in case a piece of this pops up and hits me in the eyeball. Mm. There's the nine mil. It's stuck in there pretty good. Oh, oh no. I broke the tip off of my knife. Dang it. No. I give up. You're just gonna have to look at it right here. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot left of that round. Surprisingly, still warm, even after spending all that time on it. You can see it's smushed all back through here. 
I cannot believe I broke the tip off my knife. 2021 isn't starting out too good. So about my 1 million subscriber giveaway, I will have the results for you in my next video, so keep your eyes peeled for that. What else do you wanna see me shoot with the double barrel elephant rifle chambered in 500 nitro? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.